Oops, start. And we're going to get our recording rolling here. Y muy buenos días. ¿Cómo están ustedes? Bien. 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 ¿Están bien? Más o menos. Yo aquí, ah, <laughs> más o menos, uh, sí. Okay, um, vamos a ver. We've got a lot to do today and next week. Next week is our last class of winter. Winter runs through end of March. Uh, and then they do one week in between the March and spring session. That's for people who have missed. It's a makeup session for people who have missed and they need to do a makeup class. So uh, we got today and next week. And we're going to end up about where I thought we were going to be. So that is good. Um, lo que vamos a hacer hoy, what we're going to do today, um, I'll quick start off with any questions you might have had, kind of explain some of the storytelling things so you can ask questions about that. Uh, we're going to review what happens with AR verbs, and we're going to start in kind of heavy duty with the ER and IR verbs, because there are three categories, tres categorías, three categories of regular verbs. And then I want to carve out some time, the last 20, 30 minutes, to talk about the verb ir. Ir es importante. Aller en français, uh, to go. Uh, in French, but that verb to go is super important for two reasons that you're going to see towards the end of class. Um, so we're going to cover regular ER and IR verbs, pretty heavy duty, and we're going mm -hmm. to um, we're going to see why ir is important. Uh, the last thing, uh, and, and ir of course is very irregular. Ir will not follow the the chart predictable patterns. Uh, right. It's going to be more like ser and estar and tener, that it's got, you know, quirky forms. Um, and I'm going to leave for homework some questions for you to ponder and prepare for small group work for uh, next week, our last session. So that's where I would like to go today. Hoy. Y quiero preguntarles, I want to ask you guys first, just so that we are starting off in a good place. This little story that you saw about Carlitos going camping. Yeah, I gave you a vocab list. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> and the little story. And these are really, really useful, these little stories, because they show you how things are used in context. And hopefully you uh, could hear how, uh, you know, how we can see how these uh. verbs are used in an actual retelling of what happens. OK, and it's always helpful. I'm going to uh, hover, go all the way down here to the bottom right hand corner, this CC tab means closed caption. And that will give you about an 85, 90% accurate running transcript. Although this gentleman sometimes disables that because he wants you to totally understand what's going on from the drawings. But I just want to, so, so you know, if, if you've never used closed captions or subtitles with YouTube, that's where it is, right down there in the right mm -hmm. bottom right-hand corner. So keep that in mind for future use. And if you click and no subtitles come up, that's because it's purposely disabled. Okay. Um, alguna pregunta. Any question about that video or how they, um, how they used this? And Jenny, I'm sorry you couldn't see the video or couldn't couldn't find the video. I got, I got into YouTube. I could not. I could oh. not find it anywhere in there. And there's a whole list of stuff. I clicked on your link, and it did not take me right to it. Oh. And I on. tried. I couldn't find it. Okay. Uh, wow. And I clicked on the same link to pull this up for today. I will resend it to you, Jenny, so you can actually Thank see it because so. in the billions of YouTubes there are, yeah, you'll never find it on yeah. your own unless no. you know where I'll resend that to you. Gracias. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, do for sure. 
Yeah, I'll send that out in the email again. Any little questions on how that was used? If you understand from the story about between 60 and 70% of what's going on, you're doing great. Mm -hmm. They're, they're designed not for you to understand every single word. That isn't the purpose. The purpose is to understand the general idea because mm -hmm. you as a learner, that's how yeah. it goes. Yeah. That is expected. Okay. A ver, bueno. Okay. Uh, lo que vamos a... I, and, and hopefully what you saw with that video or what you will see with that video is that, um, you know, you hear how we use it to talk about one person. You hear how we talk about a group of people. So you're hearing those verb forms in context. Um. Vale, muy bien. Vamos a empezar entonces. Then we're going to start with uh, ear and I are verbs. Okay. There are three categories of what we call infinitives. Infinitives, that means the absolute basic verb form from which all other forms come. And they translate as to, to work, to play, to run, to read, whatever, lo que sea. Uh, in English, our infinitives start with the word to. In Spanish, our infinitives don't start with the word to, but they have an ending on them. They end in either AR as the ending of that basic verb or ER or IR. And AR is the biggest category. And because they are AR verbs, a lot of the forms uh, wind up having that letter A, ah, <laughs> the letter A, A ah, in them. Uh, ER and IR verbs are the other two categories. We're going to take a look at those today and, and getting familiar with some typical verbs that do fall in those two categories and that are regular. A lot of IR verbs in particular wind up being irregular verbs. So we have to severely limit uh, the ones you can see in these because uh, they tend to have a lot of irregular verbs. But uh, ER is, I would say, the second biggest category. And IR is a small-ish category. Um, OK. So, ¿cuáles son? Uh, el vocabulario primero es importante. The vocabulary of what these verbs mean, the big idea behind the basic verb form is important. Es importante. Uh, ER verbs, comer, comer, to eat, okay, comer. And you'll notice when we pronounce the infinitive, we put more punch or more stress on that last syllable. It's not comer, it's comer, comer, okay, comer. Here, the next one, to read. We've got a double E, and the double E does not make the C, we, flee. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's not a double E rule in English. The double E means we pronounce more E, both E's. But that just means we draw out the A sound. Okay. So the question, uh, almost every student asked it, how, ¿cómo se pronuncia? how do you pronounce that word? Well, it's leer. 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 We drag out the A sound. We pronounce both essentially, but we drag it out. Leer. 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 There are a couple of verbs yeah. that wind up getting double E's, like leer, creer, to believe or to think. Uh, and when that happens, you just prolong that. And by the way, when we conjugate them, the ER that we take off will still leave an A sound hanging there at the yeah. end, okay? Yeah. So keep yeah. that in mind. When you get rid of the ER to conjugate it, you still have an E left over, an E sound left over. So, leer, to read. Oh, we've got a nice regular verb here. Comprender. Comprender, to understand. Uh, comprender, to understand. Uh, comprender es regular. Oh, we've got an English word that is like that. So that means this is a cognate. 
our our cognate in English is to comprehend. Mm -hmm. And comprehend is a higher level, fancier word in English. Comprehend means understand. Okay. Comprender means to understand. I am going to preface this with this verb here also means to understand and is also an ER verb, but, but, but it gets an irregular twist. It is what they call a stem changing verb, which we will revisit in spring session yeah. when we have the step two group yeah. running. Uh, mm -hmm. So I cannot, uh, I will show you. And actually, entender, to be honest with you, is used more often than comprender. But because it's irregular, we're leaving it out of the out of the uh, um, practice today. Do know that when somebody uses entender, which they will, because they will say, do you understand? <laughs> yeah, for somebody, they give you directions and then they say, do you understand? And that question will become entiendes, entiendes. entiendes. And you see that in entender, what is gonna happen is the 10 part splits into I-E, mm. like, like we had TNA or TNN or TNS. Mm -hmm. It'll be like tener, okay, just so that you know. So, entiendes, do you understand? But comprender is what we're practicing with today, even though it is not as common. Comprender. Ah, bien, bien, bien. Kind of a cognate because we have vending machines that have a job, their job is to sell, or people are vendors at a fair, right? Vender, vender, vender. And we pronounce the V like a B, 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 B right? Vender, vender, to sell. Yeah. Okay, responder, to respond. Ooh, cognate. Oh, something you're going to hear in the, one of the homework videos. Uh, unless we get time to play it today. I don't know that we will. Uh, beber. Beber to drink. Beber to drink. Beber to drink, especially used with alcohol, alcohol, but it can be used to talk about drinking any beverage, really. Beber. Beber. And the word drink, like the, the noun, a drink, is bebida. So it comes from the same root. But, pero, el verbo, beber. Okay. Ah, we're going to bridge out into IR verbs. And sadly, there are, uh, we're only taking IR verbs that are regular. So that's a little bit of a chore. And IR verbs that you're likely to use a lot, which is, again, another hump we have to get over. So we don't have that many IR verbs to practice with. One is vivir. Vivir, to live. Vivir. And you've probably heard old Western movies where, you know, somebody yells, Viva Zapata, <laughs> something yeah. like that. Yeah. Viva, yeah. or even because the Italians use the same root from Latin, um, um, uh, you know, uh, Viva el Papa, long live the Pope. Yeah, because it's used as a, an exclamation to say, long live somebody. Okay, uh, to open, abrir, 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 to open. Think abracadabra, it magically mm -hmm. opens something, mm -hmm. right? Abrir, mm -hmm. abrir, bueno, a ver, uh, and escribir, escribir, escribir to write. So mm -hmm. we have a smaller pool of words to use for the IRs, but you know, that's the way it works. So, um, magnifico. So, uh, getting to know these, and I will send you this list of okay. verbs para que, para que sepan, so you know, mm -hmm. uh, e, 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 e. let's take yeah. a look at the big chart. Mm -hmm. What happens with the R and I R verbs? Now you probably Mary, can, I, can I ask a quick oh, question? Si, 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 claro, of course. Um, on the uh, bebe, uh, the, to live, that has the B pronunciation, correct? Bebe. Always? Okay. Bebe. Yeah. I want to make yes. sure I heard you correctly. B will always sound not like a V. So yeah. the key is you don't want mm. your teeth touching your lips there or anywhere near that. It'll sound like a B. Bebe. Bebe. 
Bibir. 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 Um, Bibir. And I Bibir. just read last, I just read this Bibir. week that actually this is a tendency that may have come in from the Basque language, which didn't sound likely to me, but the fact that the pronunciation in Basque is they have no distinction between a B or a V either. Hmm. Since I don't know much Basque, I don't know, but you know, <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's take a look at what happens here. And if you understand what happened with the AR verbs, you're going to see that if you got the, your hooks into the AR verbs and the fact that AR verbs had a lot of, have a lot of ah sounds for the endings we tag on, well, ER and IR are going to share most of the time. They're going to share forms the vast majority of the time, and they are going to take that E sound from the ER, E, most of the time. So, the way we conjugate these verbs is uh, just like we took off the AR from the infinitive first, we're going to take off the ER or take off the IR from the infinitive first. And then we tag on these endings to tell who is doing the action. Because again, conjugations tell you what the action is, when it's happening, and who's doing it. So, uh, wow, yo. Just like AR verbs, yo forms for ER and IR verbs are going to have o for an ending. So yay. If you kind of peg in your mind, yo ends in an o, and o is the ending that the verb gets, it's o. o. But remember, we have to take off the ER first, take off the IR first, then we tag on the o. And this o is not the o of the masculine mm -hmm. nouns. It's the verb o, right? The verb mm -hmm. o is yo form. Uh, telling somebody that I am doing an action. And we're going to, again, oh, you're going to say see that this S on the end, an S with a verb does not necessarily mean plural, right? When we mm -hmm. have an S, we've got a tu form. And because we're looking at ER and IR verbs and they share a lot, we're going to have that E vowel sound. S will be our ending for tu if you are doing the action. So when you ask a question, to somebody in a, on a familiar level, that is the verb form you're going to use, okay? Uh, we'll have just the naked vowel by itself for the what we call third person singular. So to talk about one person doing something or to give the usted form, we've got e as the ending, okay? Again, they're, they're leaning heavily on this E vowel from the ER. Okay. Uh, we're going to more uh, wander over. It's still third person, but third person plural. N will be our ending. So you can see that the thing that is hanging true to form, oops, perdón, unless of course I hit the wrong button, is that N for an ending tells you more than one person. N for an ending tells you more than one person is doing it. The vowel tells you, ooh, it comes from this kind of verb, right? Mm -hmm. uh, S, just an S at the end is a tu form. The naked vowel by itself there, the yo gets the o, right? Um, okay, we're going to move up to, uh, we're going to skip over vosotros. You'll hear a little bit about vosotros in the videos, actually. Ace is what they do. Uh, but. Nosotros and vosotros, if you were in Spain, but of course, if you're in Latin America, they say, forget about that vosotros thing. Uh, nosotros and vosotros are where ER and I are split and they do their own thing. Okay. So for the nosotros endings, which is the important one for you, what happens is that ER verbs are going to take that mos ending you learned with estamos or somos or tenemos, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to keep the most, but the ER verbs are going to keep that E vowel sound. So it becomes hemos, hemos, okay? Hemos. But IR verbs are going to say, no, we want to take the vowel from IR, the E, E, E sound. So instead of using Emos, they're going to split and do their own thing, and it becomes emos. Okay. Em. Now, the mm -hmm. homework video is a video from a guy from Spain, and you'll undoubtedly, because he's talking to a couple of gals, 
And because he's talking to a couple of gals, when he says, you guys drink what kind of stuff in the morning? He's going to use vosotros. So you're going to hear it a little bit. But remember, we're not going to practice that because in Latin America, it's not useful. But do know that ER and IRs go their own way for vosotros as well. Ace and is. Okay. So you'll hear a little bit of it, but I won't make you use it. Okay. A ver. Bueno. Entonces, then what we're going to wind up doing here is going back to our ER and IR verbs. Ooh. And I'm going to send you into some smaller groups to practice about six of these, say six, only six, and then come back and see how you did. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Ooh. I need to make this a little bit smaller so that we got six that fit on the page. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, bien. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. vale. So just like we did these last week, uh, when I send you off into the little groups, here's what I want you to do. I want you to look at the infinitive. It'll be an ER or an IR infinitive. I want you to look at the subject who's doing the action and figure out how I'm going to how am I going to change this verb to make it tell the story of who's doing that activity. So we're going to look at the yellow part to see what you're going to do uh, first. And let's put this in yellow as well, because it's part of our example. If you get responder Luisa. We're going to take that and say, hmm, how do I conjugate responder for Luisa? One person by herself doing the action. And so you're going to say to your partner, ah, responde, responde, yes. responde. Yes. And then the second thing I want you to do is say, hmm, what would that mean in English? What it would mean is Luisa responds or answers. Or you could also look at that <laughs> as Luisa is responding or is answering. Okay, bien. Mm -hmm. uh, vale. And uh, just as we started responder with our example, uh, you'll each wind up doing three verbs because you're going to take turns, right? Whoever does beber, the next person does vivir, and so on and so forth. Uh, so give the conjugation, give what it means. And remember, we're talking about present tense. Um, you will see that screen when you click on the join button. I have to have everybody click on the join button uh, first <laughs> before I can send that into your Zoom rooms. Is there any question before we start that? And we'll come back, see how you did, and then go out and do another round of that. Any questions before we start? Alguna pregunta? And don't be afraid to fail. If you get close, you're okay. Well, I yeah, because we, yeah. we, all, we all fail with some of these, right? No? Right. Okay. Yeah. Vale. Magnifico. Uh, cuatro. We need four rooms. I'm going to create those now. Dos, dos, y dos. Okay. Everybody's got a partner. Uh, after everybody clicks the join button, you will see. Ooh. Join. Do we have everybody in or not? I well, didn't get a button. You didn't get a button. Okay, yeah. hang on. Ooh, you know what? Oh, okay, you will in a moment. Uh, and that is because I didn't hit the button yet because I need to move one person. We have somebody who either got bumped out or clicked out. So I've got to move one person. Okay, now you're going to see a button. Ah, ah mm -hmm. bien. And after you all hit the button, I will send this in.
Vale, bien. Ok. Bien. ¿Cómo, cómo fue? How did it go? Not good. Oh. Not good? <laughs> oh, okay. I was in with two other people and I thought I was supposed to be with just one other person. So you were, but we had, uh, uh, but I had uneven numbers. So I didn't get to do anything. Oh, perdón. Okay, let's let's take a look. Let's we had trouble look. with um, the, the two middle ones, the uh, uh, <laughs> Lier and Bibar and res Bebe. Res respond Responde. A responder. Okay. Let's take a look. So half of them. <laughs> okay. Okay. And Jenny, because you didn't get a shot at it, hang on at the end of class and we'll do a little extra, you and I. Okay. 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 Vale. Um, okay. Let's take a look. You can all see the screen, right? Yes. Yeah. We're going to get it in oh. here. And I'm, I'm going to want everybody to make sure that they, they repeat the sounds once mm -hmm. we do it. Uh, beber. Yo bebo. Bebo. Bebo, perfecto. No bebo. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bebo? Okay. I don't have the screen. I don't have the screen. You don't have the screen. Okay. Hang on. Let me. Okay. I have it now. Ah. Bien. Sí? Okay. okay. Uh, bebo. Oh, and bebo, no. e, que, okay. que indica? What does it say, bebo? Mm -hmm. I drink. I drink. Yeah, Thanks. I drink. Or I'm drinking, you know, can mean I do drink, you know. So the point is these present tense verbs mm -hmm. indicate something that's a habit, something you usually do or something you're doing right mm -hmm. now. That's what they mean. Okay. Uh, vivir. Tú. Tú. Yes. Vivir. Vives. Vives. And you may not be able to hear my S really well with my microphone, but vives, 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 okay, vives. Okay. And it means you live, live or right. you're living. living, you know, maybe you're living in an apartment, you're living in a, yeah, whatever. Okay, vale, fantástico. Usted, comprender, comprender becomes comprende. 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 You understand. And we don't say in English, you are understanding. That's, and why don't we? I don't know. We just don't. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. grammatically, you understanding is a legitimate thing, but we don't say that very much, do we? Okay. No. Uh, <laughs> now, here's the one you had some troubles, troubles with and probably pronouncing it. Remember, we're going to drag... Uh, oh, but we don't. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. we are going to have to drag it. So look, when we take off the ER, we're left with this LE. OK, mm -hmm. yeah. so I'm going to illustrate yeah. what happens. We get rid of that. We still start with an LE, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. now we put on a second E. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the fact that that little first letter E, the letter E is there. It's just a hangover, a hangnail. <laughs> <laughs> from the first part of the the verb uh, right so yeah. it's got to stay there right i don't get rid of all the e's just the last one so this is pronounced len 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 because we're saying len 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 means you guys read or you all are reading, right? That's mm -hmm. what it means. Okay. Vale. Okay. Vivir. Vivir. Mm -hmm. We get rid of the IR. We add on an imos. So it becomes mm -hmm. vivimos. 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 We live. Or yeah, uh, we, we are living. Vivimos. Vivimos. Mm -hmm. Bien. Okay. Responder. Yeah. Responder. We take off the ER from the ending. We want to say a bunch of people are doing it. Uh, responder. Los estudiantes. Responden. 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 Uh, they respond or they answer. There is another verb that means answer, but that 
you know, respond mm. means answer, right? Yeah. Uh, they're answering, they're responding. Responder, responden. Let's try Responding. all of these in turn. Oh, and I'm going to show you, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to underline the syllable that gets more punch, mm, thank you. right? The syllable that gets more stress, the syllable that gets a heavier punch with your voice. It'll be the second to the last. It'll be whatever, yeah, whatever vowel is the second to the last syllable. Bebo. 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 Vives. Comprende. 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 Vivimos. Vivimos. And responden. 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 Okay. So the stress is where you hear more punch, right? Uh, because we have to stress the right syllable. <laughs> what a bad joke okay yeah bad joke <laughs> tres mas tres mas tres mas and and jenny i would just keep you with me but i think the difficulty is if i do that i don't think it will allow me to send the screen into everybody because oh. i had this happen with another group it was kind of a funny fluke yeah. so okay. um yeah okay so we're going to take a look at um <laughs> Uh, and, and, oh, hang on, let's, let's review what these mean first, primero. So, uh, you're going to go back out, do the same thing again, uh, except you're going to use different verbs and different subjects. We're going to mix it up. We're going to use comer to eat, leer again to read, vender to sell, abrir to open, think abracadabra, <laughs> comprender <laughs> to understand, Aprender, ooh, aprender means, I didn't have that one for you, to learn. Aprender, to learn, and escribir, to write. Think of a scribe, you mm -hmm. know, really that's a highfalutin English word that means you're scribbling <laughs> something down, you're keeping a record, a scribe. Okay, secretary is a scribe. Okay, and I will send that out into your groups as you go out. Go out for uh, round two. And when you hit your join buttons, I'll be able to send those in, in to you.
Okay. Yay. Jenny, could you see the screen the last time or no? Oh, yeah. And I had seen it before. I just didn't know I was supposed to do anything. Oh, okay. This time we took turns. <laughs> it's a, it, you, know, you know what? It's a learning process, isn't it? I mean, that's just the way it goes. Yes. Así es. So it is. Yes. Okay. Bueno, vamos a ver. Let's bring everybody back together. And I hope this one was maybe a little easier than first. Oh. See? Bien. It, yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. You know what? It, it, it takes time. It takes time. Mm -hmm. um, and happily, I think, oh, I think we're going to have time to uh, maybe watch part of our video. We'll see. We're going to do a bunch of more practice together. Um, it takes a while until this feels natural. That is, if you feel like uh, it doesn't come congratulations, you're a normal person. Okay. Uh, that is the way for everybody. It takes a lot of practice to get this done. Let's take a look at what these should be. Vamos a ver. Okay. Tú, tú, la forma de comer para tú should be. Comes. 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 Mm -hmm. Come, comes. Wow. I can't get my fingers to type. Clearly, I haven't had enough caffeine. Oh. Comes. Comes. Comes, okay? And, and your that's English right. brain is going to want to read that and say comes, but that's not <laughs> what that is, right? Comes, comes, comes. 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 And that means comes. you eat or you're eating. Okay, fantastico. Uh, ooh, this one's tricky. This is the hard one probably in the group. Leer, yo. Leo. 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 Oh. Leo. Yeah. Okay. Now remember, mm. when we conjugate leer, we get rid of that ER first. So we've got that hangnail of the, that A letter hanging off there, right? So that has to stay. And we just tag the O on the end. Leo. 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 Mm. Leo. Okay. Leo. Leo. And e. that means I read mm -hmm. or I'm reading. Okay. Vale. Fantastico. Uh, bien. Vender. Ustedes. You guys. More than one you. So it becomes. Venden. 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 You guys sell or uh, you're selling. Right? There are different ways we express that in English. El turista means one guy or one gal. Or, no, it has to be a guy in this case. It's, it's el. Uh, one guy who is a tourist. So we're talking about one person and it becomes. Okay. Abre. 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 Now, Abre. notice when we take off the IR of abrir, you would think, oh, that I is, oh, it must want to use the E, E, E sound, but it doesn't. Right. Remember, they share. So it's going to share the ending that we have as if it were an ER verb. Abre, abre, abre. El turista abre. And that means uh, he opens or he is opening. Right. Either one works. Now, uh, nosotros, comprender. We get rid of the ER. We get a long word. Comprendemos. Demos. Comprendemos. We understand. Oop, understand. We understand. Okay. Uh, aprender means to learn. I know it looks like apprehend, but it means to learn. Aprender. El chico. Aprende. 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 Uh, he learns or he's learning. Okay. Vale. Bien. Uh, and escribir for yo is escribo. Escribo, it means I write or I'm writing. Writing. Exacto. Exactly. So let's punch the second to the last syllable is what gets more stress or more emphasis. Okay, second to the last, not the last mm -hmm. syllable, but second to last. Mm -hmm. So we're going to underline what <laughs> syllable that winds up being. And we're going to say those uh -oh. all Isn't one more time. Isn't it day? Oh, oh, perdón. Gracias. Sí. Yeah. Gracias. 
Oh, ok. Vale. Ah. Ok, those hang okay. together. Whoop. Don't want italics, we want that. And. Ok. Perfecto. So, bueno, repitan por favor. Comes. 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 Leo. 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 Venden. 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 Sí. Abre. 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 Comprendemos. Comprendemos. Perfecto. Aprende. Aprende. Y escribo. Y escribo. 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 Ok. Escribo. Vale. So, we've got underlining for where we punch or do more emphasis. And there you go. So, Every time somebody talks about what somebody is doing or every time somebody asks you a question, there will be, um, you will hear them using conjugated uh, verbs, okay? Um, any question before we move on? Yeah, I have a question. Sí, sí. Yeah. It's probably a stupid question. But, no, but it's we, not stupid. When we hear the, the, the words like to eat, you know, and that type of stuff, when you pronounce that, where's the accent? Like to eat? Yeah. The, the infinitive, not when we, when we don't do anything to it. Okay. We don't conjugate it. We punch the ending. Okay. Come it always yeah. is that way. Always. Right. Okay. There are certain rules about that, but. Uh, I choose not to go into that yet, okay. uh, right. because even though they're easy rules, people tend to kind of um, uh, get a little bit discombobulated. So we're going to uh, we're going to take a look at just you know the easy stuff of or the easier stuff of learning how to conjugate a verb. Uh, ooh, and we're going to do, um, I wish I could turn off the sound on this. We're going to take a quick look at a quick quiz. Ah, yo, which one of these works? Como. 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 I Como. eat a lot every day. Let's take a look. And I'll give you a link to this. This is just a silly little game, but to... Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A ver. Bien. Ooh, get ready. Uh -oh. You understand the the, the class, the lesson from class. Tú, tú should be comprende, comprendes, okay. comprendemos. Comprendes. 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 Con comprendes. S, with an S at the end. Comprendes. You understand. Okay. Fantástico. Segundo, a ver. Uh, oh, she learns vocab. Aprendo, aprendes, aprende. Ella, aprende. she. Aprende. 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 Aprendo would be for yo. I. If the subject is she, she's one person by herself. So she gets aprende. Okay. A ver, and I'll send you the link for the, to this so you can play it on your own. Being, oh, bonus round. Who knew? Yeah. <laughs> ah, rápido, rápido. I hate these little things that they take time, but we'll let it do its thing. Okay. Okay, what? A ver. Oh. Ay, yeah, we don't really care. Come on. Give us another answer. Here we go. A ver. Ooh, we drink orange Bebemos. juice. Bebemos. Bebemos. Bebemos, right. Most Bebemos. is always. And now remember, when you see or hear nosotros, most people will leave off the nosotros. We'll do two more and then we'll cut out to a different kind of exercise. Okay, dos más. Oh, the friends are running in the park. Correr means to run. The friends are running in the park. Los amigos. Corren. Corren. 
Corren and corren. at the end means they do it. Corren. Yeah, corren. sí, corren, corren. Bien fantástico. And when I give you the link for this, you'll be able to do way more because we're gonna, not going to do all 13. Una más, one more, and then we're going to abandon this. Oh, the seller, a guy who's selling. El vendedor, he sells Vende. clothing, la ropa. El vendedor? Vende. 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 He's only one guy, and he does that on his own. Okay. Fantástico. Bien. So. We're going to leave that for now. We'll send that back to you to uh, do some more on your own, some more practice another time. Otra vez. Um, ooh. Okay. A ver. Ooh, I'm looking at my watch, making sure I leave enough time. I'm going to do a little preview, a little preview, just so that you can hear this guy a little bit. I'm going to have you watch the whole video as part of the homework, but I want to do this as a preview so you kind of get the rhythm and you see, again, uh, how we typically will watch these things and what you should do when you are in control of the little buttons on your own. Okay, this is going to be a guy uh, from Spain. So he's going to use, I'm really sure right at the get-go, he uses a little bit of vosotros. So just kind of screen out the vosotros. But uh, I want you to hear what it sounds and see what you should do when you watch the whole video on your own. He's going to use... Uh, some mm -hmm. verbs because they're going to be talking about, oh, drinks we like, drinks we <laughs> like. Okay. And he's going to pre, uh, actually, this is going to preview a little bit of what we do when we say we like things as well. But you're going to hear them using beber, beber. beber. Okay. Beber. So that's the point of this video for you to get a little bit of your feet wet, yeah. hearing people talking using beber. So what you yeah. should do first in this whole big screen when you get this, go down. Ooh, I don't have, do I have a button? With C. <laughs> Mi amiga Mariona. I do. So down here, when uh, when I put the big screen on, I couldn't see it there. The CC button, I want you to hit because okay. it won't be 100% accurate, but it helps you to see the closed caption while you listen. And that's okay for you to do at your level. Okay. okay. So he's going to talk about his gal pals here. We. Amiga Nuria. Van a hablar de qué cosas, qué cosas beben, ¿no? Ah, and oh, we've got a mistake here. It shouldn't be beben, it should be beben. Yeah, these little closed captions won't translate everything. It should be B-E-B-E-N. Okay. Qué cosas beben. So you're going to notice some errors. Qué okay. cosas beben. He did say beben, but uh, there's an actual algorithm that interprets the sounds. And sometimes... YouTube's algorithm gets it wrong. So okay. just be aware. Okay. Que okay. cosas beben. Wow. What stuff? He's talking about the two of them. What stuff they drink. Beben. Beben with an N at the end. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Y por ejemplo, aquí tenemos agua. Tenemos agua. We have water. water. Nuria, mm -hmm. a ti te gusta... Te gusta. And this is a, oh, this is a preview. Like You're going to see what happens when you say like. Uh, te gusta is going to mean you like. Beber agua. Sí, me gusta mucho y bebo mucha agua. Ah, bebo mucha agua. Yeah. Bebo mucha agua. I do what? I, I like water very much. I, yeah. And, and don't worry about the, I like, me gusta means I like, it's not, and you'll notice it's not me gusto. Uh, me gusta mucho. I like it a lot. Bebo mucha agua. I want to, I want you to listen for forms of beber. Bebo mucha agua. I drink a lot of water. Bebe mucha agua. Mm -hmm. Bebe. Now, when he talks about her, he says, bebe. She drinks. Mm -hmm. Bebe mucha agua. So I want you to kind of isolate okay. that when you listen okay. again. We'll, we'll mm -hmm. do a little more, maybe uh, up to about three Bebes minutes. agua. Bebes agua. He's talking to her now. Bebes, you drink. You. 
Caliente. No. Oh, caliente. Ah. Hot. And she's going to react. Look at that. Hot water. No. Oh. Agua fría. No. No. Agua. Natural. Natural. <laughs> Natural. Agua del tiempo. Del tiempo. <laughs> Room temp. <laughs> y Mariona, a ti te gusta. And that means, do you like? Te gusta. Beber agua. Sí. Sí. No tanto como a Nuria. Ah. Ah, not so much like Nuria does. Mariona. <laughs> not as much. Poca agua. Y el agua te lo bebes frío. Sí. Ah, lo bebes. Uh, it should be lo bebes. Lo bebes. You drink it and it, it's misinterpreting. Lo bebes frío. Lo bebes frío. Do you drink it cold? Sí. Sí. Frío. Muy, muy frío. No, muy no. Un poquito. Un poquito. Un poquito fría. Frío. Uh -huh. Un poquito fría el, el agua, claro. A mí también me gusta el agua mm, okay. un poquito fría. Yeah. No muy okay. fría. I like it a little cold, not real cold. Muy is very, right? Not very cold. De la nevera. From the fridge. No. Okay. De, la de la nevera. He's going to draw el agua, nevera. El agua uh -huh. está muy, muy está fría. A uh -huh. uh, Mariona, uh -huh. ¿a ti te gusta beber café? Sí. Sí. Oh, yeah. sí. Ah, do you like to drink coffee? ¿Bebes mucho café? No. Bebes. He asks, bebes, do you drink? Bebes mucho café? Do you drink a lot of coffee? Okay. ¿Bebes mucho café? No. Bebo poquito. Poco. Bebo poquito. Oh, no. I drink a little. And they're going to use as many gestures and little drawings as they can to get the, the, the feeling, right? Un poquito. Poquito means a really little bit. Poco is a little bit. Not small in size, a little bit. A small amount. Okay? Poco café. Sí. ¿Bebes? Ah. You drink, he's talking to her, saying you, bebes. Café en un día, ¿cuántas veces? Ah, ¿cuántas veces? How many times? Una vez, solamente una vez. Una no, vez, cada once. Día. Ah, todos los días, todos los días, no bebe, no bebe café. No, no. no. Café, bebe, pero no, no bebe todos los días. Está. Caliente el café. Sí. No, cada día no. no. Lo suelo tomar después de comer. Ah, I, uh -huh. what she, uh, lo suelo tomar. I usually take it. No, tomar, sí. I want to point this out. Tomar es importante. This is important. Suelo means I usually. And the word that comes after is what I usually do. Tomar means the same thing as beber. Uh -huh. Oh, it can yeah, mean the right. same thing as tomar yeah, has right. many definitions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Tomar can mean to take something, but just as the British properly like to say, do you take your tea with? Mm. It's that kind of take. Tomar mm -hmm. can be used to take. Tomar can be used to say eat or drink. Mm -hmm. So she, when she says lo okay. suelo tomar, she means it I usually take. I, and what, how we would phrase that is, I usually have it. I usually have it after eating. So at the end of her meal is what she's saying. Lo suelo tomar después de comer. I usually have it after eating. Okay. Vale. Después de comer, bebes. After eating. Y a ti, Nuria, ¿te gusta el café? No. No me gusta el café. No. Ah, no me gusta. I don't like. No me gusta. No. I don't like. No le gusta. No le gusta beber café. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A mí también el café no, no, me, no me gusta mucho. Uh -huh. A veces uh -huh. quizá bebo. Ah, uh, sometimes. Bebo. I drink. Pero no bebo cada día. No bebo cada día. I don't drink it every day. Cada no, día cada means día. each day, every day. Cada, cada just de, means each. Día. Cada is a word that never changes. Uh, cada means each or every. No bebo uh, cada día. I don't drink uh, every day. No bebo cada semana. I don't drink it every week. No bebo cada semana. I don't drink every week. Mm -hmm. 
bebo muy de vez en cuando. De vez en cuando. Pero sí, time to time. que bebo mucho té. Bebo, bebo mucho té. I drink a lot of tea. Bebo mucho té. I drink a lot of tea. So I'm going to uh, leave that just so that you could get, get the feel for how that rolls. Okay. I would say when you watch this, you really need to watch it three times. Mm -hmm. Did you not? You need to watch once and just let, yeah. it roll, let it roll. Let it wash over you. Just wa uh, watch it for the big ideas. Mm -hmm. The second time you watch it, Watch it and just focus on how many times he uses the verb beber. Okay. Beber. He uses it as bebo, mm -hmm. bebes, mm -hmm. bebe, she. He'll talk to her and say bebes. He'll talk about her and say bebe, she drinks. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want you to notice how many times, the second time you watch, notice how, much time, how many times he uses beber in different forms and the third time maybe go for a few details even after the third time if you don't get all of it that's okay but yeah and notice too he's going to use te gusta you like me gusta i like just kind of notice that because i'm going to have you look at what that like verb means for homework, okay? Uh, but we're not going to have time to get into it yet today. Okay? Está bien? Good? Mm -hmm. And you'll watch the rest of that. And the more you hear people tell little stories with different kinds of verbs, the easier it will get poco a poco, little by little. But it does literally take a lot of time to get adjusted to it. So do know that that is a normal thing. So just go for absorbing as much as you can. Okay, a ver. Um, another thing I'm going to show you that you will be doing for tarea, homework, mm -hmm. uh, just as a preview so you know what's coming. I want you to prepare you look at this file. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want you to prepare some questions people will normally ask. Mm -hmm. and, and I want you to think about how will I answer these? So uh, what I'm going to do is type at the top. Ooh. I wanted to type at the top, but I've got to move my cursor. Uh, what does the question ask? And how would I answer? Yeah, that's what I want you to think about. Okay, that's what I want you to think about. So we're going to look at what the question asks. Mm -hmm. Some of these, when we ask a question, Typically, the verb okay. will come up first, mm -hmm. or okay. as I have here, uh, I'm uh, rolling into it. Uh, let me let me back up. A yes no question, you know, like do you drive, <laughs> right? Uh, uh, do you, oh do you have your mail delivered to the okay uh, yeah whatever. Do you do you drink tea? Yeah. Um, those are yes, no questions. So in a yes, no question, the verb will come first and it'll be conjugated mm -hmm. to ask somebody something. You're either asking the person directly or you're asking about somebody in a question, right? But uh, also we might have qu uh, questions that get an interrogative. And those are questions that are not yes, no questions. The interrogative says, I need more information. Yes, no isn't enough. So let's look at what these mean, right? Okay. Tomas el café con leche o azúcar. Mm -hmm. Tomas comes from tomar. Tomar can mean to take. Okay. It also means to eat or drink. So yeah, okay. tomas el café means do you drink your coffee with milk, milk or, or sugar? Sugar. Yeah. So I want you to ponder that. 
Okay. okay. And how you would answer. And if I ask you about yourself, how are you going to answer? Yo. 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 Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, the next oh, one. Asks, yo. Yeah. So ponder that because the <laughs> verb and the question will get changed in the answer, right? Mm -hmm. I won't just mimic Tomas in the answer because if I say to you in English, do you drink your coffee with sugar or milk? You don't say you drink your milk. Do you drink your milk? coffee? You drink your coffee? No. <laughs> Do you drink your coffee? <gasps> I drink my coffee. <sighs> yeah. You see where we're going with this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now we've got some, and, and I may change a few of these a little bit to make uh, a couple of them a little bit easier, but mm -hmm. ¿A dónde viajan ustedes? Where are you guys traveling? Mm -hmm. ¿A dónde? Where? To where? To where? Because we need a to where. A donde viajan ustedes? Where are you guys traveling? Um, I'm going to change this one to uh, an easier one so that you see, you see some yes, more yes, no questions. Toman ustedes el autobús? Are you guys taking the bus? Sí. Are you guys taking the bus? When you answer a you guys question, we answer with we. So I'll give you some little cues. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a couple little cues so that you uh, kind of know why you're doing that. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. so. The clue is if you ask with a two verb, you answer with yo. yo. Yeah. If you ask with ustedes, yo. right? Uh, yeah. If you ask with ustedes, you need to answer with nosotros. Because no. ustedes is not asking you only about yourself. It's asking about you and the people in your group. Yeah, okay. So we're going to look at whether uh, these are uh, uh, questions to ask tú or questions to ask ustedes. So uh, you're going to look at those. Toman ustedes el autobús. ¿Dónde trabajas? Where do you work? Right? You'll need a place. Uh, ¿Quién vive contigo? Who lives with you? Or it might be maybe more than one person lives with you. So, quienes viven contigo? Who all lives with you, right? Cuando trabajas? When do you work? Maybe a day of the week, morning or afternoon, something like that, right? See? Uh, Cuando abre el supermercado? And this is asking about el supermercado. It's not asking about you. It's not asking about me. It's asking about the supermarket, which I know that's not a person, but uh, it's asking about that place. Cuando abre el supermercado? When does the supermarket open? And we've got sample. Eight o'clock, six o'clock, stuff like that, right? Uh, ¿Qué busca usted? Buscar means uh, to look for. Buscar means to look for. You see, you have to name a thing. ¿Qué busca usted en el supermercado? What do you look for in the supermarket? You can keep that real general or real specific, yeah? ¿Qué busca usted? Buscar means to look for. And notice the for is built into the verb, so we don't need the word for. We just need that verb, buscar. Buscar. ¿Qué comen ustedes? What do you guys eat? generally yeah que música escuchas what music do you listen to ah 
yeah. So when you come back next week, uh, you're going to sample uh, answering those. We're going to start off doing these all together in a big group because these are more complicated questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, and actually, we'll start off with you guys actually asking me some of the questions and then we'll kind of uh, riff off from there. So you're going to get those so you can prep that ahead of time. Bien? Bien. Okay. Vale. So we're going to use all regular verbs, AR verbs, and ER. Or, ooh, I think those are all AR verbs. No, we've got some ER verbs. We've got some IR verbs. We've got a little mix of different verbs in there. Okay. A ver. There we go. Uh, vale. Fantástico. Um, Let's go back to one more big chart. We're going to look at a special verb. So we mm -hmm. need to carve out time mm -hmm. Ooh, for this special verb. This special verb is ir. Ir es muy especial. This is a survival verb for darn, toot, and sure. Ir means to go. So again, you've got this on a big chart I sent you a while back, and it's in mm -hmm. yellow because it's irregular. Ir means to go. Now, the odd thing about ir is that I told mm -hmm. you to, when, when we conjugate, we take off the er, we take off the ir, we take off the, uh, e, uh, yeah, we take off the ar, the er, the ir, right? We take that off first. Mm -hmm. Well, if I take away the ir, I got a whole lot of nothing left. <laughs> so obviously, this is going to have to be a very irregular verb, right? Mm -hmm. And even though ir is technically an ir verb, it gets ah endings in a lot of its forms. So here are the forms that ir goes into. They all start with a V. I don't know why. They just do. <laughs> they all start with buh, bechica, with that little B. That, so they're all going to be like B sounds, B, 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 soft B sounds, right? Mm. Uh, okay. I want you to repeat these sounds with me because we're going to watch two little videos because there are two ways we can use this. Go is a really basic verb that everybody uses in every language, but we can use go to talk about going to places or going to do something. Oh, so... This is really a crucial verb. So I want you to repeat what the forms are with me first. See, ¿Sí? repitan por favor. Yo voy. Yo voy. Yo voy. Yo voy. Yo voy. Yo voy. And yo, you'll generally yo, hear yo. it used only as boy. 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 People automatically boy. know that boy means go. me, nobody else. Yeah. Boy. Okay. Boy. Uh, La forma de tú, the form for tú is vas. 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 Vas means you go, you're going. Vas. Vas to a friend directly, you. Okay? Uh, the form for él, he, one guy. The form for ella, she, one gal. The form for usted, you, formal, is va. 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 Okay, repitan por favor. Voy, voy, vas, voy, va, 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 una ba. persona. These are all singular. Voy for yo, vas for you. I'm talking to you directly. Va to mean one person, right? Va is going. Okay, formas plurales. Mm -hmm. Here are all of our plural forms. Nosotros. Vamos. 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 We're going. In Spain, Vamos. they use vais. We won't Vamos. use that form, but vais is what they use for the, the plural of tú. And then to say more than one person is going. So ellos, they, ellas, they, the feminine form, or ustedes, you guys, are going, is van. Van. Bun. And Bun. The, the silly little Bun. mental trick you might use is if you think of they go in a van, you'll remember that all mm. the forms of ir start with, you know, van, they start with okay. a van, but it's not pronounced like van, right? So let's mm. do all the formal, the plural forms together. Repitan, por favor. Vamos. 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 Vais. 
Bice. I use that one that much. Bice. Bice. Ban. 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 Okay. Ban. Ban. Vale. Here's the thing you need to know or the thing you should be aware of. Very, very often, very, mm. very often, the little word that will come after that verb ir is ah. Ah means two. Okay. Uh, because usually we'll say somebody is going to a place. Yeah. So you're going to hear the word ah quite a lot after the form of ir. Boy, bas, ba, vamos, bais, ban. And we're going to watch a couple of videos that talk about a donde van. Ah, uh, bien. Ooh, you know what? Perdón, momento. Because it's going to make me hit a sound button. We're going to watch uh, two little short videos about ir and the two mm -hmm. ways we use it because they are two ways that we use this verb to talk about going to a place and going to do something, meaning near future. So let's take the easy one first. Aquí. Quick, the verb ir, to go. Yo voy, tú vas, él va, ella va, usted va, nosotros vamos, nosotras vamos, ellos van, ellas van, ustedes van. Okay. To view the last lesson, say that you go somewhere, you have to have ir plus a plus a place. So that's a little formula, and I'll send you a, a I'll send you a little set of Google slides that show you this. We conjugate ir, then we need the little word a, because we need the word to, and then we talk about a place, okay? So he's going to give you some possible examples. We go, or we are going to the store. Nosotros vamos a la tienda. They go to the mall, or they are going to the mall. Ellos van al centro comercial. And remember, people may skip that word ellos and may just say van al centro comercial. Okay, we're pairing it up here so that you get used to oh. which pronouns use that verb van. But it's very common to just say van al centro comercial. And everybody knows, oh, it's a group of people. Okay. Okay. Remember, if I have an L for the... After a, I combine them to form al. Okay, Whoa, that's a little okay. thing. Ah, if you hear instead of a, if you hear al, that means it's a combination of two little words that roll together to form one. It's kind of a ah. trash compactor thing. Okay, if a is next to the word el, they must smash together and form the little word al, right? A, la are separate words. A, los are separate words. A, las are separate words. But A and L is not a thing. It's got to squash together. Al. So you're sometimes you'll hear al. And you'll see these in my Google slides too. Okay. So this isn't the only thing you'll see it on. To mean to the. Okay. Now that we're caught up in this lesson, I wanted to go over a useful question in Spanish. Let's say I see someone leaving and want to ask them, where are you going? If I wanted to ask someone, where are you going? Where is donde? And you go, where you are going is... Now, you know that donde and va. Where are you going? Donde vas? Ah, because ah, because vas needs that little word ah, we're going to tag the ah in front of the donde. Because bus is a verb of motion. Go. Yeah, motion. So instead of just donde vas, it'll be a donde vas. A donde vas. Bus. So you uh -huh. think it is donde vas. Remember, I have to have that a ah after ear anyway. Okay? But I can't leave it at the end of the sentence. That's grammatically incorrect. So I put it at the beginning of the sentence and I have a donde vas. Okay, because... Okay, remember like your grade school teachers long ago telling you, never end a question in a preposition. Where are you going to? Yeah. In Spanish, similarly, you cannot end a question in a preposition. So you can't, can't say, donde vas a? The a moves up and it, it tags itself on the front of the donde. So just know that donde sometimes becomes a donde. 
because we're talking about motion. Because bus says somebody's <laughs> moving someplace, right? A donde vas? To where are you going? A donde vas? We can also use this word really in any of the forms that we wanted to. A donde voy? Where am I going? Where am I going? I have no idea. <laughs> A donde vas? Where are you going? A donde va? Where is he going? Or is she going? Or you going? Formally. A donde vamos? Where are we going? Where are we A going? Va? Where are they going? Where are, they going? where are you all going? The idea being to where. So let's say someone asked me, ¿A dónde vas? I could respond, yo voy a la escuela. And typically people will not say yo, right? It's there to get that pairing of the yo and the verb form in your brain. But people will typically say, voy a la escuela, voy a la escuela. And notice I can't use al because it's a la and those stay separate. Voy a la escuela, I'm going to school. If I added a time in there, the way we do time again is at plus time equals a la plus the number if it's one or a las if it's more than one. Okay, so a la una would be singular, but then a las dos, a las tres, a las And cuatro, don't worry about the time less. part of this okay. too much. So, a donde vas a las cuatro y media? Where are you doing, going at 4.30? Don't worry about the time part of it. We'll do that another lesson. Hmm. Yo voy a la tienda. ¿A dónde van los chicos a las siete? Where are the boys going? At seven. A las siete means seven o'clock. A las siete. At seven hours is what you're saying. A las siete means at seven hours. Ellos van al cine. Van al cine. They're going to the movies. How about you try a couple? I'll ask the question and you can answer it according to the picture that shows up <laughs> for the place. Make sure to pause the video if you need more time. Or refer to the word bank if you're having trouble. And we'll preview Remember this. Remember the relationships between the personal pronouns when I ask questions, though. And then I'll review those real quick. If I ask a question in the tu or usted form, you'll answer in the yo. Oh, so do watch this video again. Because if the question asks with a tu verb or an usted verb, we answer with a yo. Because mm -hmm. they're asking you about you. If I ask a question about el or ella, we'll still answer in el or ella. Oh, if we ask about him or her, we're answering about him or her. The verb won't change at all. It'll be the same verb you had in the question. Here, a tu verb or a, a verb we use with usted, it's got to change to a yo verb in the answer. Here, mm -hmm. the verb stays the same because you're asking about him while he's doing this. The verb doesn't need to change. Mm -hmm. If I ask about nosotros, you can mm -hmm. still probably mm -hmm. answer in nosotros if you're part of the group. Yeah, where if are I we going? Oh, ellos, we're going to the store. Keep it still in the ellos or ellas form. But if mm -hmm. I ask about ustedes, you will answer ustedes. in nosotros. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ustedes means, hey, what, what are you guys doing? And just saying I isn't good enough because you're asking about you and everybody with you. So it becomes a we answer, right? Yeah. So, ah, oh, yeah. so a tu question or an usted question gets a yo verb answer. An ustedes verb question gets a we nosotros verb answer, right? But the yeah. other ones stay the same. So that little chart's kind of helpful. Okay. So here we go. ¿A dónde vas a las tres y media? Ah, ¿dónde vas a las tres y media? And he's got a picture of a park. Hmm. ¿A dónde vas? Let's just look at that piece first. ¿A dónde vas? We're going to say, I'm going to, because we're going to answer. I'm going to. So the answer is going to have what for a verb? Yo. 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 Boy. 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 Boy, and then I'm going to need an ah, uh, and I'm going to need the place. And don't worry about the tres y media, uh, three thirty. Don't worry about that part three, yet. Tres y media, boy. Yo voy al parque. Boy al parque. I'm going to the park. And oh, al has okay. to be there because I can't have a uh, and el next to each other. They do a squish together thing. Oh. Yeah. Al. Boy okay. al parque. It can't be boy a el. A el. A el uh -huh. takes too much. A el. A el takes too much work here. Al. 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 Boy al parque. Boy, where are you Yo going? Voy. I'm al going. Parque. Boy al parque. El parque. El. A donde van los chicos? Where are the kids going? Mm. A donde van los chicos? And we, oh, we've got a yeah. church. Iglesia. 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Iglesia. Yeah. Yeah. 
Van a la iglesia, los chicos, the kids, or I could change los chicos to ellos, they, same thing, van a la iglesia. And remember, a la stays separate words, a la iglesia. Van a la iglesia, they're going to church. Or ellos van a la iglesia. Or you can just leave out the subject entirely, van a la iglesia. ¿A dónde vamos a las ocho? Where are we going at eight? Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going to we're going to school. Nosotros vamos a la escuela. ¿A dónde va mm -hmm. Pablo a la una? Yeah. Where's Pablo going at one o'clock? He's going to la piscina. La piscina mm -hmm. is a pool, mm -hmm. a swimming pool. Mm -hmm. Well, if I'm asking about Pablo, I'm going to talk about Pablo, so the verb won't change. Yes. Pablo va a la piscina. Or I can cut Pablo out completely and just say, va a la piscina. And that's good enough. Va a la piscina. ¿A dónde va usted por la noche? Ah, where are you? Formal you. Where are you going at night? And we've got a biblioteca. Biblioteca library. Yo, bo. Voy a la biblioteca. Voy a la biblioteca. And notice he finally put yo in parentheses. Voy a, voy a, voy a la biblioteca. ¿A dónde van ustedes el viernes? Where are you guys going on Friday? Ooh, I think he means this is a museo, but I'm not sure. Museo, museum, would that be a museum? Hey, where are you guys going? Oh, are you guys get a we answer. Vamos. Vamos. <coughs> Nosotros vamos al museo. Vamos yeah. al museo. And it can't be a l a l. It's mm -hmm. al. Vamos al museo. Now, I'll ask if someone goes to a certain place and you answer no, he, she, I, and we, whatever else, are going to this place, whatever the picture says. Okay? Mm -hmm. An example. Vas a la playa. <laughs> No. Are you going to the beach? Playa is beach. Ah, no, I'm going to the pool. Okay, so you see a picture of the piscina, the pool. And so you would say, no, yo voy a la piscina. You try a couple now. Vas a la iglesia. Are you going to church? We're going to say, no, el cine, el cine. Going to the movies. No. No. No boy. No, yo voy al cine. Voy al cine, voy al cine. Are they going to school? Oh, we're going to yeah. say gimnasio, gimnasio, gym. They're not going to school, they're going to the gym. Mm. No, ellos van no. al gimnasio. No, no. no. Van. van al gimnasio. No, they're going to the gym. And people will omit this ellos. Mm -hmm. Because you know from the question we're talking about that. We can skip the ellos. Van al gimnasio. Vamos a la tienda. Are we going to the store? Oh, no. Oh. Restaurante. We're going to the restaurant. Vamos a la... No. Vamos al restaurante. Vamos a la biblioteca ustedes. Ah, you guys going to the library, biblioteca? Oh, no. Parque, parque, parque. Are you guys going? Oh, we're going to park. Al parque. No. Vamos al parque. No. Vamos al parque. Vamos al parque. Vamos. So Vamos. I will send you Vamos. that video to watch again. Okay. Okay. He's going to have a second video. Uh, ooh, we're running out of time here. The second video is going to talk about uh, what happens with two verbs together, but my Google slides are going to show you what that does. Okay. okay. And what you're going to wind up doing is you're going to use ir, uh, voy, vas, va, vamos, van. Okay. You're still going to pair it up with a, but then you're going to use a second verb. Mm -hmm. And that second verb is going to tell what you're going to do. Oh, so ir can be used to talk about going to places and ir can be used to talk about near future. Not I'm doing it now, but I'm going to. I'm going to work. I'm going to 
buy some stuff. I'm going to cook some food. I'm going to put the food back in the fridge, right? Mm -hmm. It talks about near future. So that's why ir is so, so powerfully important. Mm -hmm. Es muy importante. So you're going to take a look at the two videos on ir. You're going to uh, look at some little Google slides I'm going to send you, and you can save that into your own file. And uh, I'm going to want you to preview, preview uh, some information about gustar, that thing you heard about in the drink video. And gustar means to like. Gustar, sadly, is not going to follow what your other verbs have done. It belongs in a really special category. So I'm going to tell you uh, that in your book, it's going to be like several chapters ahead. And I'm going to want you to look at the little um, chart they show you because it'll be helpful. Um, Gustav doesn't behave, act like the other verbs. Uh, so you're going to find it on page one. Uh, 37, 137, 137, but I'll send you a little video that shows you how it works. It's an odd sort of thing, mm -hmm. and, and, but I do want you to look a little bit. I want us to talk a little bit next week about the uh, verbs using ir, regular verbs. We'll spend the, uh, another chunk of time on the verb ir. And we'll spend our third chunk of time on how we say, say that we like something. So here's the key thing. The reason the me gusta doesn't go into your forms or two forms or nosotros forms, it can, but it hardly ever does, is that there really is no, no verb that translates as like exists. Spanish does not have a verb that no means to like. Mm. Therefore, there's no human being who does the action of liking. Well, blankety blank. WTF, what do I do then? Well, what you do is in Spanish, they say a thing is pleasing to me. Oh, okay. Nobody in English ever says that cake is really pleasing to me. <laughs> They'd know kind of what you meant. They'd say, what is wrong with that person? These movies are very pleasing to me. No. So we have to use a different verb. And in, in Spanish, the verb is that this, a thing is pleasing to somebody. And that's why it's not going to follow the same rules. Okay. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about that next week. Vale? Bien? Bien. Just Bien. notice how they use gustar in that drinking video. Okay. Because you'll kind of preview, ooh, you'll get a feel for how they use it. I don't want you to understand it 100% perfectly. Just get a feel for, ooh, it will sound like this. Mm. Okay? Bien? And I will leave it there. And I'm going to stay on a little bit longer, Jenny, to do a little practice with you. See? Si? Bien? Vale, but I'm going to 